Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Sag and Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today. So this is a reading for the Fire Signs out there um, and to the Cross Watchers who are dealing with a Fire Sign as well. It'll help you gauge where your person's at, what they're thinking, what's going on on their side because it's sort of like a you versus them reading. Um, and we're going to look what's keeping you apart, what's on your mind and what the advice here for you is in your current love situation. So um, before I begin, if you are after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me and we can go ahead and arrange one for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to join my lovely little YouTube family. Um, feel free to join the channel and um, become a member. Um, you can do so via the link below um, and this means you're going to get access to any extended readings. It's sort of like a subscription so um, anything I post to members content you'll be able to check that out. So let's have a look and see what comes up here for you fire signs. So on your side of things you're coming up as a six of swords, the temperance and the king of swords. So I feel straight away you are wanting to move on from a certain situation or you want to make peace with the fact like, I feel there's something in the energy that sort of made you pessimistic about your person, about your connection. It sort of made you doubt a few things, um, like whether they were right for you, if there's, um, if there's potential to sort of progress together. So you've been in that sort of mind state, but now you're ready to overcome that. Okay, so I'm seeing you want peace. Sagittarius energies come up, so it's like you just want the truth. It's like, you know, give me the truth. On their side of things, it's a bit like you can't handle the truth, right? <laughs> um, but going back to you here, you have Sagittarian energy, so you're ready to be open. Uh, you're ready to talk. You're coming up with the King of Swords. So your, your mind state is a little bit differently. It's almost like you've been through the worst of it here, fire signs, and you're ready to come out the other side. So whatever this is, you've, you've, you've had some repetitive thoughts, okay? You've had some cyclical thoughts. But now you're in that Six of Swords energy and you're literally moving to the Temperance card. So it's all about picking your battles, okay? Knowing when something is worth fighting over, knowing when it's just not worth to pick a fight over, um, or knowing what's really valuable or what can be worked on. So it's good because it's a sense of like you acknowledging things and having that sense of maturity to go, okay, well, this didn't work for whatever reason, but that's okay. I'm going to move forward in this way. Or, okay, I didn't like when my person didn't show up or didn't text me back or um, didn't come home at a certain hour, but you know what? I'm not going to nag them about it because there's other more important things. It's that element of picking a battle. So I like the mentality that you're showing up with here, Fire Signs, because I feel like you're more receptive to what's going on um, and you're not doing the nitty gritty. You're not picking on those things. You're trying to keep things balanced. Notice how that angel here has got the two cups. So it's like a balanced kind of act. So I feel like there's a lot of giving and taking from your side. And to have that um, King of Swords come up shows me you're in a better place mentally. Before you would have reacted, you would have blown up, you know, you would have reacted rather than responded. But now it's like you're responding better. You're having better communication. Your thoughts are coming up as more positive. You're more optimistic that you can get through things. Like your whole thought process has changed. Now, I don't know, maybe this is what this person has done to you. It's the effect that they've had on you. And suddenly you're becoming more, more aware of your thoughts um, and especially what you say to this person and even how you say it, like how you're delivering it, possibly being more like considerate and more sensitive of their feelings um, coming into that energy. They are on the other hand, what's keeping them apart from you is that um, Ace of Swords. They're coming up with the Ace of Swords. So they're doing it tough here. They're not as mentally strong as they let on. And I feel like with the Three of Swords, they're possibly dealing with some pain and hurt. Now, it might have been between the both of you or something that has happened, but where you've sort of gotten over it, he fires signs, they're still dwelling on it. They're still living in the past. They're still emotional about it with the moon. They haven't dropped it yet. They're trying, um, but I feel like in trying and trying to fight off those feelings, they're sort of like denying it and pretending they don't feel a certain way when they clearly do. So they've got this bit of funky, there's like a funky tension um, going up on their, uh, coming up from their side. They've got cancer energy, so this is like moodiness. Um, I feel like they're dwelling on what happened in the recent past a lot, and then they're not letting go. Cancers have a hard time letting go. Now, whether or not you're dealing with a cancer is a different story. Maybe if you are, then okay, this might be more for you, or someone with like cancer placement in their chart somewhere. 
and I wouldn't be surprised because if they're like a Cancer um, Venus and Cancer or like a Cancer Moon, obviously they're going to be more touchy. They're going to be more sensitive. It's going to be lo it's going to take longer for them to get over things, right? Than actually do do what they need to do. So don't be alarmed if you're if if they're in that kind of energy. Let them feel it out. Um, because eventually they're going to get to a, a cycle because the moon is all about cycles. Eventually they'll come to a, a point where it's not so intense. Um, like it almost looks like a super moon here. So it's telling me like on their side, they're feeling like everything's intense and everything's up close. And it's like, it's probably too much for them to handle. They're also feeling like hurt with the three of swords. They, they could be feeling deceived or betrayed. Um, they're trying to not let... Uh, they're not, they're, they don't want you to see them vulnerable for some reason. Um, and they're putting up this wall because that's what the moon does as well. It's about putting up that wall and not showing our vulnerabilities. I don't know if they think you're going to think they're a baby if they do it, or they're going to think like they're like a sook, like a sulk. Okay. If you don't know what a sook is, it's an Aussie term. Um, and it means like being a baby, right? Like a sooky lala, like being a baby, just throwing a tantrum, you know. And they, they sort of don't want to show that. Like they're hurting inside, but they're putting up this wall because they're intimidated, I feel. Um, or they're going to like, they think you're going to think down on them. Or you're not going to see them as being able to handle things. But you know, their feelings are real and they're obviously upset because they care. Otherwise, why else would they be? But there, there is a bit of a struggle here on their side. And they can see that they're in that Ace of Swords and they can see that you're in that King of Swords. And right now, anything that you say, they're just going to deflect it. They're going to counteract it because they're not on your level right now. Doesn't mean that in time they won't sort of come around and think about what they need to think about. So the advice here is only, only love lets us see normal things in an extraordinary way. So let them look at things through your side. But it's important the advice here for you is you also have to see things from their side. Um, and if they're dwelling on it, that's what they want to do right now. It doesn't mean you have to sit there and dwell with them. Um, but it's amazing if we sort of put ourselves in each other's shoes, how much more we can see, how much our vision and our perception opens up. Um, but I feel like it's love and it's almost like there's a reason of their sadness or their, their pain or there's a reason why you want to make peace with the fact love is the driving force behind that so if you're finding yourself like more complacent being able to get over things quickly not reacting to things as intensely whatever it is if you're finding yourself this way it's because love is bringing it out in you and vice versa this person isn't normally like hung up maybe they don't normally get jealous or you know be a, be a bit of a baby but actually loving you has made them be this way so you have to understand, let's look at the mechanisms, a bit of psychology, let's look at the underlying reason as to why they are acting this way and why you are acting your way as well. Isn't love amazing? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that fire side. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. I'm the Aries Sag Leo. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Feel free to sign up for membership on the channel via the link below. Um, otherwise, we shall be in touch soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.